Good morning everyone and welcome back. In today's video we are going to be doing a butterfly and it, with this butterfly I am doing it a little bit different than I normally would. Not that I normally would but with than what um I, yeah than what I normally would. So I'm going to be using the chameleon powders. I'm going to be using the purples and blues um around the edges and down around the mold and I have these um they're basically like fantasy film and you can get some quite good effects off them they're basically like um chameleon powders so they've got the color shifts in them and I thought if you layer them so if you put like two different colors on top of each other it changes the color and also backing them in in um, different colours also changes the colour. So the backing colour I'm going to be using today is black because black resin um, makes chameleon powders pop. So I'm going to be using uh, blacks, and not blacks, blues, purples and... Um, yeah, blues and purples from in here. And we'll see if we can make something more stunning. So for today you're going to need... Uh, a makeup brush or a paint brush, whichever you prefer, whichever is easiest for you. Um, I have got a couple to hand, and and basically, I'm just going to show you how to do. You know how to put it on, making sure that you get all your edges because when you back it, and you don't do your edges, you're just going to have a flat, a flat effect from the chameleon powder. So I'll get all into your nooks and crannies of the mold. So um, um, I'll show you that and then I'll time lapse it. And then once I've covered everything in UV resin, I'll give it a quick clean up because makeup powder is messy. <laughs> and then we can get on to the next step of the video, which would be to add this. So I'm going to start off by getting my colours. So for today's colours, I'm going to be using the blue, which has got a purple blue shift. The grape, the teal, and plum. I haven't got um, any particular way I'm going to do it. It's just going to be sporadic, but I will um, make sure that it's symmetrical. So it's the same on both sides. So... I'm going to start off with the plum colour. So this is kind of like a pinky, like a pinky purple. And we're going to colour the body and the, I forgot what they're called. I had a terrible night's sleep last night and my brain is fried. So I don't know what it's called, <laughs> honestly. Uh, right, so let's get started. So. Big shout out to all my subscribers. Thank you so much for all your support and continued support that you do to help my channel with comments and views. Um, the channel is growing quite quickly and nicely and I can't thank you all enough. It's been amazing and I've made some good friends. I have um, regulars who watch my videos and I, I, lo I love it. Um, I wouldn't of ever got here if it wasn't for people just telling me to just go for it so again thank you all so so very much right so what i do need is i think a black so i'm going to use the astoyo just black if they've got it let me just check let me just bobby on pause no in fact I won't colour that in. I'm just good because I'm going to be covering it in black mica powder, uh, black resin anyway. So um, I'm going to leave the. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm going to leave these things here, um, um, like with no nothing on, so that the the resin, when the resin goes on it, it will show through as black. So I'm just going to clean up. So anybody new to resin hasn't worked with chameleon powders, they do make a mess. They get everywhere. And a typical baby wipe 
um, will take any surplus off your mould. So basically, some YouTubers um, don't agree with baby wipes because a lot of baby wipes contain moisturiser. Um, I don't actually use moisturised baby wipes. These are actually water wipes specifically bought for um, my children because they have allergies. And you can also, as well, another trick is if you get a little another another brush if you spray it with some isopropyl alcohol 99% you can actually take the surplus of the mica powder off by doing that and then if you've got any residue you can just use your baby wipe just to remove it because some parts of moulds can be so hard to get into the creases and the little areas and it just makes life a bit easier right so basically mica powders are so simple the uh, the um chameleon powder so i'm not going to sit here and put you through me watching me to do you know color every part of the the mold so i'm going to put you on a time lapse and then you can watch it in a faster speed and i'll be back once this is mica powder to do the the films finished making a mess <laughs> look at the state of all the mess <laughs> it's all over my pants and, and my gloves even my arms <laughs> what if you can see can you see it it's sparkly everywhere all right so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take the baby wipe i'll show you how to do it with again with the baby wipe and then i'll um pause it and do it off camera just to make it easier so I like using alcohol spray, just give it a little spray and just wipe it off. So anywhere where you don't want the mica powder, just wipe it off. So alcohol spray on there and just wipe it off as best you can and there you go. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to get my blush brush, blush brush I use is just a larger makeup brush and what this does is if i rub it all over it'll blend it all in and then if i've missed any patches it'll it'll fill the gaps in as well and then i can come back and take off the raised areas where, where it's embossed here i can take the mica powder off with a baby wipe so hold the line hold the line i'm not on the phone you know <laughs> um hold, hold it there and i'll be back right i'm back again right so Let's try this again. Right, so now we can take. So I'm back and I um, just thought I would show you some other tricks to get um, mica powder off your moulds. Just by using a Q-tip, cotton bud, earbud, whatever you want to call them. And you just spray some 99% isopropyl alcohol on and just wipe it off. It comes off. And it's pretty simple. It just depends on which you prefer. I prefer baby wipes because it's quicker and I can cover a larger surface area quickly, quicker than using these. So, Right, so I've cleaned that the best I can. So what I'm going to do now is I am thinking of how to do this now. 
I wasn't sure whether to use UV resin and then lay down the fantasy film over the UV resin or put a coat of clear down. But if I put a coat of clear down, it's going to move all the mica powder residue um, and put it... There is going to be some, some mica powder that floats in the resin. It's normal. It, it, it's hard not to. So if I do that, then it's going to be all over and you're not going to see it clear enough, or would you? But so I'm just thinking what to do. I really wish YouTube could speak back to me <laughs> while I'm actually doing stuff. And I know, yes, I can go live, but uh, I can't go live yet. Not until I've got a thousand subscribers. But beyond that is I really do wish sometimes I can seek people's advice while I'm actually doing the product because it would make my life so much easier with decisions to do um because i really don't know not that i don't know it it's it's just which way to go about putting this fantasy film on now so it's kind of like because i'm backing it with black it needs to go underneath the resin but then i need something underneath the fantasy film to protect it so i might just do a coat of clear resin a very thin coat Right, so what I've done is, is I've put a thin layer of resin down and I'm just sticking the fantasy film in and um, like pushing it down so it's with the resin. And what I've done is, is I've dipped the, the fantasy film, screened it, sque squeezed it up, screwed it up, should I say, and then I've put it into the resin just to coat it and then I can put it down. It is, is going to be messy, but I'm not too fussed. And hopefully this should work how I want it to. As long as I can coat the back in black, that's all that matters. Excuse me, I've got resin all over me. Just give my hands a wipe. So I'm just adding colours where I can. So screw it up again. basically just overlapping it and just gives a a nice effect and this should hopefully all blend in if it goes wrong it goes wrong I'm not frightened to show my mistakes is if you're new to my channel I'm one of these channels is if you make a mistake you just do a try again I've got plenty of running and ple plenty of resin and plenty of time and I'm learning just as much as yourself is and then we're just gonna grab some of this. Throw me on to the I'm just grabbing some more fill and, and screwing it up. Just gonna layer that on there. And just stick that on. What will be will be. And I know everyone says, oh, you need to do things to the best of your abilities. Well, I haven't got any abilities when it comes to resin. I've no patience <laughs> and I get stressed very easily. So I just go with the flow and whatever the results will be is how it's meant to be. And then I'll learn next time not to do the mould. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm pretty patient, actually, that you have to be when you're dealing with resin. So again, look a bit of resin. I'm not going to make you sit through all this. I'll uh, put the other... When I do the other side, I'll put that on a time-lapse for you all. If you're watching. <laughs> We're joking. And then just put that down there like that. We need a little amount. And anything that you've got spare of the film save it because you can do a lot with little scraps of this stuff and there you have it and hopefully that's all covered and then what I'll do is is once I've filled in the other side I'm not going to come back and show you um I'll be back to pour the top the, the black the, the back layer because this will go onto my heat mat for an hour to cure this clear layer and then I will do the next layer so I shouldn't have even mixed up my resin, that was just silly. I'm just going to 
that was very very silly to do so now I've got to find something else to do to use up this resin I've got plenty of moulds anyway and I'm not bothered about any trap bubbles underneath at this moment in time because it's just going to be inevitable with all the pockets from the um, coloured film fantasy film whatever you call it Right, so I'm going to put you on pause and I'll, you know, time lapse, yeah? I'll pause it and come back when it's done. I'll time lapse it so you can see. Right, so that's that done. I'm going to say, as I said before, I'm going to put this on my heat mat for an hour, cure it, and then I'll be back for the next part of the video. See you soon. Right, we are back and I am now fully cured. I'm sorry this video is going to be up late um, as I blew my heat mat again. I've got a problem with the... Um, power cable so it was trip it was basically blowing up my heat mats anyway i've got a new one so hopefully uh, this won't blow up <laughs> and i've got a new um power cable so um everything should be all right for me so i'm going to demold this and we'll take a look at the front um i'm sorry i didn't show um me pouring the black i basically just used um 150 mils of the apex high gloss resin um, I didn't fill the mould all the way up because I didn't want to come up onto here um, and I used the Perlex pigment powder so everything will be linked in the description box for you so I'm going to get this demolded and we'll take a look at, at what mess it <laughs> has been made because I'm not I'm not holding up holding up much hope for this one because I did have a lot of issues with this, that, the, the type of fantasy film we, we, I used. Right, I'm still here, I'm just demolding. I'm just trying to take my time because. Right. Are we ready? Oh, wow. I've got a little bit of a thing there, but wow, that is absolutely stunning. I'm speechless. I actually can't believe that it actually came out so pretty. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I really am chuffed with that. Right, guys. I'm going to get myself off to bed because it's almost bedtime. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to bed. I'm going to get this um, edited and then I'll get um, the video uploaded. Please like, comment and subscribe if you've already not already done so. It will help my channel out immensely. Uh, thank you for watching and I shall see you up all I shall see you all on the next upload. Thanks for watching. Good night.